Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for December 12, 2017. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So we start off with Sammy Rafe in this damn rain that she can't get off her finger. Hope says she heard him down the hallway. Sammy came up with every excuse possible. Even, was that her jacket or was that a cloth? Of, so whatever she had up her hand covering up her finger. Sammy, you almost got caught. You covered good for yourself. Um, Hope didn't realize what the hell was going on. You were crying till the next minute. You were complaining about your finger to rife till the next minute. You talking about your contacts. Yeah, finally got the ring up by the time you yanked your damn finger off. That was a little funny little scene or whatever. I enjoyed that one, though. That was kind of fun to see them up there fighting well. Rafe and um, Sammy up there fight when that ring at first. Then seeing Sammy up there trying to pull that ring out every time Hope turned her head. That was a cute little scene. Then when she did finally pulled it off, the little dinner that Julie started off with, um, Rafe, that was cute. That was cute. Um, what else happened? Oh, good news. Hope ready to get married all of a sudden. And she wanted her up and do it all of a sudden. Hope I ain't gonna judge you or whatever. That was another that was a little nice little scene. I I this the first time in a long time I actually enjoyed a rope damn scene. I'm going to give it the rope this episode. Y'all had me dying the whole entire time. That was cute to see Rafe and Hope together. I just hope y'all don't become annoying again. Once y'all get married or while y'all working on these um wedding plans, y'all don't get back annoying again. Hell, even Julie was tolerable this episode. She wasn't that annoying as she used to be. I mean, the whole rope scene was... I give it an A+. Plus. It was all right. No complaints. Didn't know Rafe left. Middle name was Alejandro. But okay. I already knew Hope whole name. Uh, yeah, but Hope, that is nice, though. Um, I guess you realized what you was losing. Rafe might be your last chance of happiness, so I guess you decided... Shh, this man obsessed with me. He loved me. Let me go ahead and marry him and lock him on down. Y'all still got problems in y'all relationship, but don't let that stop y'all. Y'all can still work that out. Um, y'all can still work that out and still have a successful marriage. I'm rooting for y'all. You know, I y'all annoying as hell, and I root for you. Right, rope, and, rope, good job. Hope I'm glad you came to your senses and realized ain't nobody else gonna love you as much as Rafe gonna love you. Even though Sammy did have sex with him before y'all got back together, that breakup stuff don't count. He cheated on you, Hope. I just hope that don't come out of the hoping. I open. I yeah. I just hope that don't come out. Cause if that come out, ooh. Sammy, you better be glad you leaving town. I just hope find out you have sex with Ray. She might chase you with the damn knife. I'm just saying. Um, Doug gave Ray up some words of encouragement, telling him, you the luckiest man alive. Don't hurt my daughter. You going to have to hear from me. I mean, yeah, the whole rope scene was, I mean, very enjoyable. Then we see Jen... Abby, Chad, and Thomas, they had a little family gathering, having fun. Thomas didn't want to participate, I guess. He started crying. Then they talked about um, JJ and sh Gabby and, um, not Gabby, Abby and Jennifer talked about JJ and how he doing. And Jennifer said, she, Eric went to talk to him. Maybe he can help him out. Then the whole Eli thing, Eli thing. The Theo thing came up and they talked about that. And somehow she got an alert from, she put, I mean, an alert from her phone saying that now they saying that the marriage is involved in the Theo shooting. We'll get to um, Eli to the in a minute, because I want him, and I want Kate. 
So she got the alert. Jennifer put on her detective hand. She up there calling her still trying to drill um Chad and Abby. Gabby, you hand on the Gabby. Why well, keep on calling her Abby? You handed that like a pro. You avoided you pussy footed around and you danced all the way around that answer. Typical Abigail, you good for PR, because that's what you're doing in your personal lab. Tiptoe, dance, skate, and ice skate all over the answers. And then do a little wiggle over them, too. So you good for PR. Chad did the right thing making you PR, because you good to PR and, and your personal and in business. So I can understand why he said that. Now, Chad, what this is, strike three, strike four. With the whole throwing that Chad, throwing that JJ and Theo, um, throwing that Chad in. Well, how he said it, that the marriage wasn't involved in Theo shooting. It was your son that, keep it up, JJ. Uh, keep it up, Chad. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep on saying that. I'm noticing um, every reaction every time you say that. She looked pissed. You better stop saying that for Abigail slap your ass. And I'm going to sit back and laugh at your ass. And then I'm going to get on the video and laugh at her for slapping the shit out. Um, Chad, if you want your marriage to work and you want to stay like it is now, I suggest you to go find somebody else that, um, to blame and set JJ because JJ was doing his job. Um... Hell, go blame Andre shit. Blame Kate ass. You better stop mentioning JJ and, J um, and Abigail face like that. Abigail is going to wind up and going to slap your ass. And I'm going to be right here laughing at you for saying it. Because this your th this your strike three for saying that. I noticed you like to say that a lot. You like to throw that in there first and then that's convenient for you nowadays. Keep it on up, JJ. I mean, JJ. Chad, and watch what happens to you. So we seen the little talk between Eric and JJ. Eric, yeah, Eric and JJ. And basically, he told him, I've been through this. I didn't did this. This is how you handle it. I know you can't sleep, eat. Every time you close your eyes, you're thinking about it. Um, um, you look tired as hell. Yeah, he said, I know what you're going through. So he gave him some nice advice how to handle it. He also gave him the Bible and, um, the Bible and also read the Bible. This is what helped. Lord, I hope JJ make it. Poor thing. Without Eli throwing him under the fucking bus first. But we fit to get to him right now. <sighs> Eli, Eli, I don't know what it's going to take for you to realize or what's going to get in your thought process. You think JJ could have done this and it could have been avoided telling the wrong damn person is. If A would have asked for my opinion in this case and I had an opinion that I know this man don't need to hear at this time of moment knowing he on 10 and he on fire and knowing it's just my opinion. This opinion might piss him off. I would have kept it to my goddamn self. Now, you didn't win the throw, JJ, all the way under the bus to the slaughter. To the slaughter. You didn't win a talk this man everything that man wanted to hear, you know, justifying what he did to Hope and JJ, and you gave it to him on the slip on the silver platter. Gabby even told your dumb ass she was wrong. And you threw him under the bus. You didn't realize what the fuck you did. I ain't believing that because you said that with malice. And you said that with conviction in your heart that he was the reason. And in your opinion, it could have been avoided. And he did it because he wanted to do it. I believe you said it. And you said it because you want to say it. It ain't because you want to throw JJ. And, and I would never do JJ like that. Well, you just did, dumbass. And then when Gabby had the audacity to call you out about it, you talking about her ex, and you sure you ain't got feelings for your ex. What her ex and JJ and this shooting got anything to do together? She telling you, you need to take your opinion out of it, especially the opinion Abe don't need to hear it here at this moment. Do you not see this man on 10? You even admitted that. And he is broken. He need to hear something. Oh, so you thought that was the perfect idea for you to bring this up. 
that this whole thing could have been avoided and Eli and JJ didn't have to shoot that man. Okay, then, since that's the way you feel, this is how I feel about you, um, Eli. That whole cabin with Lieutenant Rand and, um, um, Lieutenant Rand was holding Gabby. You didn't have to shoot um, Lieutenant Reigns. That whole scene could have been avoided. But no, nah, you shot and you got shot happy now, didn't you? Exactly. Let's go back even farther than that. Remember the desert, the island, when Paul lost his mind and got that jungle fever, you want to shoot the fuck out of Paul. That whole scene could have been avoided. You want to shoot him because you thought he was a wild card and your life was in danger. Everybody else didn't want to shoot him. Why were you so trigger happy to shoot him? Why would you go trigger happy to shoot Lieutenant Reigns? You had no relation to Gabby then. You and Gabby broke up um, before y'all got on that plane. Now, why did you think it was a good idea for you to shoot Lieutenant Reigns out there in that cabin? Just like you can say, Jay, that was... um. Trigger happy. I can say you were trigger happy in both two and um and two occasions. Now, how many can you say JJ was trigger happy? Look, Eli, it goes both ways, buddy. It goes both fucking ways. Just like you're gonna accuse that boy, I can accuse you twice over. And now, now one of those situations look good for you at all. Let's move the hell on now. I ain't, he didn't upset my damn feelings. Um, K. Keep on saying I'm sorry. Please keep on saying I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You sorry. You sorry. Mm -hmm. You very sorry, aren't you? Okay. Let's see how so you're not too sorry enough to um to tell Chad that you sorry or go turn your happy ass happy ass in in you. Then you gonna play hypocrite the same man. Talking about some what she did, the wheel, which was fucked up, and I even said it was effed up what the hell she did. Even then, I didn't offend Sammy for what she did. You have the audacity to call Sammy out on her BS, but you done done several BS all over. Having our boy shot, having our boy doing the job, you know he was not ready or prepared for. You got guilt on your heart, so I guess you trying to relieve that guilt off your heart. Now you think it's okay to throw Sammy under the bus now. Talk about what she did to Jay. Um, what she did to Will was uncalled for. So what you did, what you had Eli, I'm mean Eli. Theo doing was uncalled for, so, but you chose to do it, though, I didn't you? Mm-hmm. Not only that, you little helper. Sammy had to remind your ass that you couldn't help him. Um, Lucas wasn't there for you to help him when he was drunk. If it wasn't for Sammy, your, your son would probably be in the ditch dead right now. He didn't roll the damn car over. How, how much longer do you think um, Lucas had before he got in another car and rolled that one over? Or uh, better yet, did it Eric and killed somebody? He lucky he ain't do it, Eric. Cause you think he um he drunk now? He would have sobered the hell up real quick, and he would have done it, Eric, and killed some people. And then you okay? You got on my elbow that's the last nerve. So we got you on team. Well, we got you feeling guilty. We got. <laughs> um, Abe up here talking about some the Demaris involved in Sammy up here trying to throw Andre in the bus and don't defend Andre and K uh, girl. Okay, hey, maybe you'll get yourself together. K, you go play with yourself because I don't got nothing for you. I don't feel nothing for you at all. You get what you deserve as of now when it comes to you and whatever happened to Theo. And Chad, you said you going to, what you said was you going to do. You said when you find a person that is running for Eli, I mean for Theo, and if they're part of your family, you going to hurt them. Well, don't hurt Kate too damn hard. I might start to give a fuck. So don't hurt her too hard, um, Chad. And another thing, you love hell for you, you old witch. Can't leave Gabby alone by Gabby Sheik and getting in the, um, what's up, the Damara business? Why are you harassing Gabby with this? Leave Gabby the hell alone, her and her company. Why are you trying to make her be close to, um, Chad? Why? 
Hard water, you ain't hard coming with the answer all this time and tell you hint tense. She want no parts of you and your damn company or be around Chad or Abigail. Well, I need your answer because I've been thinking about this and it's been a while since you respond to me. A normal person would take that. I don't want no parts of you or your company. You, on the other hand, you can't take, you can't take a hint, I see. Gabby, do not take that damn job from Kate. You gonna be around Chad. I'm not here for the Chabby drama in the three rain circles again. Please don't take that darn job again. Please do not. Tell um tell Kate she can go to hell with that damn job offer. Tell her you're not interested and you don't care how she feel about it. God darn it. I'm so sick of her and that darn thing. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's it, y'all. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.